Your dog's got diarrhea and you want to clear it up as quickly as possible, but you don't know what to feed them. Should you actually be starving them? What about giving them probiotics? Well, let's jump into these simple home treatment steps that will clear your dog's diarrhea up in no time. Hi, I'm veterinarian Dr. Alex. This is Our Pets Health, where I believe that dogs are part of the family and I want to help you understand and optimise their health so that they can live the long and happy life that you want for them. So one of the most common recommendations out there is actually wrong. You should never starve your dog. Starving will have one benefit, it will reduce the amount of diarrhea they're producing, but it's actually going to mean that their diarrhea lasts for a lot longer. The reason for this is that the lining cells of the colon and of the intestines actually require food being within the guts for them to get their nutrition. They don't get their food and their energy from the blood supply. They actually get it from the intestinal contents. So by starving your dog, you're actually starving the lining cells of the gut, hurting the very cells that you want to get better. Now you don't need to feed a full amount to get this benefit, but it is important that your dog gets some nutrition. So what's the best thing to actually feed your dog? Well, in general, you either want to stick to your dog's normal diet, or you want to feed a diet that's been specially formulated for dogs with sensitive upset stomachs and we'll come on to why in just a minute but we certainly need to be avoiding rich foods salty foods fatty foods so that means no treats because they're much more likely to upset your dog's intestines further and just prolong their diarrhea now if you do want to home cook for your dog then you can give them things like scrambled eggs just make sure you avoid lashings of butter or adding milk which could cause further upset you can boil up some chicken you can give them cottage cheese these are all very easily digestible food sources that will help your dog get the energy they need while also feeding the gut. At the same time you should be giving them smaller more regular meals rather than just feeding them once or twice a day like you normally do and you also want to make sure they've got a really good supply of water. You can encourage them to drink by adding ice cubes, adding some chicken broth, some tuna juice. You can also give them specially formulated pet electrolytes just to help them maintain their hydration levels, making sure they're not getting dehydrated. This is going to be more important if your dog's got a really profuse watery diarrhea and you're worried that they're just losing a lot of electrolytes. So what about probiotics? Well, probiotics absolutely can be beneficial and will help clear up and stop your dog's diarrhea much faster. You can give human probiotics. These aren't going to hurt your dog, but they're not going to be nearly as effective as a species specific probiotic and that's because the bacteria that normally live in our intestines is very different from the bacteria that normally live in your dog's intestine. If you do give a human product you also need to be super careful that they don't have anything dangerous in there like xylitol which is an artificial sweetener that can cause low blood glucose and liver failure. Choosing something like Fortiflora for dogs is a really good option and can also be really helpful to prevent diarrhea if for example your dog needs a course of antibiotics or if they're always getting sensitive upset tums. Prebiotics are something else you can give your dog. The common ones are Fos and Moss fructo oligosaccharide and manin oligosaccharide these actually work by feeding the good bacteria in the gut and starving the bad bacteria so they help correct the imbalance that happens in a dog who's suffering diarrhea from pretty much any reason at all now these prebiotics and also probiotics are often included and mixed in with diets that are designed specifically for intestinal recovery and this is the real benefit of choosing a diet specially formulated for your dog's condition now another thing you can do is that if your dog hasn't been treated for worms in the last few months you can definitely give them a treatment because it could be that a parasite buildup is causing problems and it's really important to remember that the vast majority of dogs with diarrhea do not need antibiotics it can actually make things worse because antibiotics they don't just specify one particular bacteria they actually carpet bomb the whole intestinal flora and that can cause diarrhea to become worse and can actually take sometimes several weeks to even months to get back to normal and then of course if your dog has stopped eating if they're lethargic if they're vomiting if they're unwell for any other reason you really need to be seeing your vet also if that diarrhea isn't clearing up by itself within a three to five day period certainly if they're a puppy you don't want to leave it nearly as long as if they're a healthy adult dog. Now if your dog actually has blood in their stool or they've got really bloody diarrhea then make sure you check out this other video linked on screen for everything you need to know about bloody diarrhea and until next time I'm Dr Alex this is Our Pets Health because they're family.